So yeah, how did how did you sort of deal with that? And yeah, just 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 a loss in general, really. Like even if it's not just in the ring, like out, outside of the ring as well. Like any any negatives that happen to you, how do you sort of deal with that? So like. I was happy with my first three rounds of that fight with Savannah. Like I was executing game plan. Everything was going really well. Um, and then I burst my eardrum at the end of the third. And um, like in the fourth, I was trying to do everything I've been doing before. Um, and like, obviously she'd up the pace as well. Like starting to put, you get the weight behind what she was doing. Yeah. And uh, so not, taking nothing away from Savannah, her performance was really, really good. Mm-hmm. But like I, wasn't able to execute the things I was doing beforehand. So it was a bit frustrating for me. And I couldn't figure out why, because I didn't know what it was. Like I didn't, I'd never had this injury before. Um, so I think after this fight, I was more frustrated that that had happened and I hadn't got a chance to continue doing what I was doing and how it was working and stuff. Yeah. Um, because yeah, like I, my team could see in the seventh round, I was rocking and rolling, but they could I couldn't tell my lefts and my rights very well so they told me to take a knee and I've never taken a knee in my life so like but I did what my my team after like many shouts (laughs) I did what they asked me to do I took the knee um and the ref he decided to wave off in the last 10 seconds I mean that was his decision and I don't resent him for that like my team would probably have given me checked me over in the corner and seen things so you know it's it is what it is so I'm never going to be angry with the ref for that hmm. um but I think after that sort of fight I was more frustrated than losing because I lost over the 10 rounds um because I was frustrated with the injury but my coach always has a thing and he's like right we're the same kind of person so we see each other the next day as soon as the fight's over anyway I was um I was there anyway but we, we were like right let's break it down So we always do that as soon as it's done the next day. Um, Same thing for sparring. We do it right after sparring or anything that I want to break down. So, and he says, right, three good things before you tell me anything else, three positives, and then we'll break everything else down. Um, And it's the best way to think about it because you've got to think about what you did well. You've got Mm. to give yourself a pat on the back. We're all really quick to go, oh, this was shit. That was shit. This was shit. (laughs) But actually there's, there are good things out there. So you've got to look at that. So I always do that and I break it down and then I talk about what I want to improve. And then we talk about what we're going to do in the gym to work on. Mm. Uh, And then I feel like I have a plan. And my mom always said to me, if if something doesn't go well, like if I had an audition or something and it didn't go well, or I didn't get the the place, I'm allowed to feel like shit about it for about a day. I can be miserable, have a bad time. It can have a day, day of being grumpy about it. And then after that day is you got it all done then. And then after that, you've got to move on. Because it's mentally, it's, you know, it's draining. Yeah. So if you want to improve yourself, have your day of miserableness. And then the day after that, try to look forward to what you're going to do next to improve it and do it better next time. 